I can't express to you the importance of this video, so please, after it's over, like it and share it with everybody you know. Sharing this video could literally save a child's life. Earlier today, I put out a video where Hillary Clinton said something positive about vaccinations on the 27th. A day later, on November 28th, Chelsea Clinton, her daughter, tweets this out. But let me go back to this. This was posted under Hillary's tweet from Carol Glow. It's got this banner right here that says, do you know what 13.1 on every vaccine insert states has not been evaluated for carcinogenic or mutagenic potential or for impairment of fertility? Let's double check that. This is FDA.gov. And if you look down at 13.1, under non-clinical toxicology, carcinogenesis, mutagenesis, impairment of fertility, and if you click on it, you get exactly those words. This, this drug, this vaccine, has not been evaluated for carcinogenic or mutagenic potential or for impairment of fertility. Carcinogenic and mutagenic potential? You've got to be kidding me. Pretty much all of us know what carcinogens are. They're cancer-causing agents. But what's a mutagen? In genetics, a mutagen is a physical or chemical agent that changes the genetic material, usually DNA of an organism, and thus increases the frequency of mutations above the natural background level. So when Hillary comes along, and on the 27th, let's get to her tweet. And I'm going to read some tweets under here too. This is what I love about social media. You can shine the light on the cockroaches and they just flee. This is why they want censorship. They do not want to be challenged with their opinions. These opinions that end up killing millions and millions of people. Hillary Clinton tweets out on November 27, 2019, one thing I'm grateful for are vaccines. You know, those carcinogenic vaccines that save lives. Carcinogens save lives. Let's all do our part to counter anti-vaccination, anti-carcinogenic disinformation that threatens lives. Jennifer Veterans for Truth says, when a warmongering sociopath that has no issues with helping to destabilize countries, traffic children out of Haiti, take all the money donated to Haiti, then decides this is the thing she is thankful for, you should be suspicious. Owen Schroyer says, my body, my choice. Yeah, what happened to my body, my choice? You want to force vaccinations on us, Hillary? This person right here actually says to Hillary, thank you for continuing to inspire and lead by example. Nurse Ratchet says, anti-vaxxers are selfish, cultish. Yeah, you're cultish because you don't want to put a carcinogen into your baby. You're cultish. You're cultish. Can you imagine we live in a day today where you are considered cultish if you don't follow the program of a Hillary Clinton or a Chelsea Clinton? That's where we're at today. This person right here says, I personally know three people that were paralyzed by the safe flu vaccine. Check out my last video, guys. They determined back in the 70s that pharmaceutical companies were putting out vaccines knowing they caused cancer in laboratory animals. And when the light was shown on them, they left it on the shelf for over three years. That's how much they care about you. Maya Gray says, we are experiencing a vaccine injury epidemic and you choose to ignore it instead of acknowledging it and trying to fix it. Vaccine manufacturers must be held liable for their products and politicians must not accept money from pharma. We the people will not stand for it any longer. This person says, Hillary, you are finished. You're like the cartoon animal running in midair before it crashes to its doom off the cliff. Best hush, really. This doctor says, have you looked at the payouts yet for vaccine injury and death? The VICP has paid out over $225 million in just 2019 and over $4.2 billion since 1986. No double blind placebo safety studies either. Vaccines harm and kill. 
But they want you to turn a blind eye to this because her, her pockets were probably crammed full of big pharma dollars. And then you have Chelsea coming along on the 28th saying, Happy Thanksgiving. This Thanksgiving, I am especially grateful for the doctors, nurses, public health staff, and vaccine workers, carcinogenic injecting workers who are injecting carcinogens into children to guard against deadly diseases, including measles and fighting anti-vax misinformation. Oh, really? Is it misinformation, Chelsea? That the FDA at FDA.gov has listed on 13.1 on these inserts that these drugs have not been evaluated for, for carcinogenic or mutagenic potential or for impairment or fertility. Does, does that matter to you, Chelsea? Guys, I could go on and on and on. People are just wailing on her, wailing on her. Of course, you have those brain-dead sociopaths that want to follow psychopaths like Chelsea and Hillary. And then you have 26 million people who are following Hillary Clinton. I'm not saying everybody who's, because I'm following too, but I'm following for a different reason. I'm following to expose her. I'm not following to be a lemming, turning my mind off, getting my children vaccinated because the former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said, hey, we need to do our part to counter anti-vaccination disinformation that, that threatens lives. If a Hillary Clinton is telling you that anti-vaccination disinformation is threatening lives, then it's the opposite because she's shown herself to be a liar. Another thing I wanted to show you is that Hillary Clinton is a member of the Title 28, Section 3002-15A Federal Corporation. This is from their own law, guys. 28 U.S. Code 3002, if you go down to 15A, United States means a federal corporation. These people are federal employees. They're corporate employees looking out for corporate interests. Don't forget that. Please share this video with everybody you know. And I'll see you guys in the next heavily censored shadow ban video.